Okay, so using AI and machine learning algorithms such as the stable diffusion AI in VR to create immersive experiences that are constantly changing based on stable diffusion. Now this is the first time I tried this kind of experience. This was created by Scotty Fox, if you follow him on Twitter. And as you can see, we can already see the potential of creating immersive experiences using stable diffusion. Now what's amazing about this experience, it's, you know, it's not real because yes, I'm in some kind of virtual room, but it feels like a dream. It feels trippy because everything is constantly changing, obviously by using stable diffusion. So it feels like taking DALI to Imagine by Google and Midjourney, like the images we are synthesizing and generating based on these image generators. But this time it happens in front of your eyes while the entire 3D environment you are standing in is constantly changing. So this is very amazing. This feels very weird, I must say. Almost like a living dream. <laughs> And I'm stuck in this uh, sort of hotel room, which is pretty nice. There is a chair over there, you can tell um, for sure it's a chair and there is some kind of bed that is constantly changing, I guess, based on multiple images from different hotels or maybe, I don't know what's the stable diffusion uh, actually using, but you can tell that it's a hotel room or something. Uh, now. As for now, this is a trade-off experience, so it's not six degree of freedom, so I can't actually go ahead and uh, sit on this chair or maybe on this bed. So let's try to actually sit on this chair. As you can see, I'm actually seated on my chair in real life, but when I stand up or get down, uh, there is no six degree of freedom, so I can't actually move in space. So if I I can't really move in VR, so that's that's something that uh, kind of breaks the immersion. <laughs> but that's yeah, that's right now the limitations of the technology. But uh, from what I've seen this morning in Scotty's Twitter, I think he said something about creating this kind of experience in Unreal Engine, which could be actually amazing if he because Unreal Engine Five is very realistic, and creating this kind of experience in uh, Unreal Engine can make it more interactive and obviously potentially you could move in space and you know in this kind of uh, stable diffusion environments so that could be fine uh, and amazing to experience but as for now even this feels very very interesting so where the technology could go in the future in my opinion what i want to see with this kind of experiences is a uh, chatbot you know ai chatbot like chat gpt that is currently doing an amazing work and i've been playing with this since they released the new chat gpt i think uh on thursday and sometimes it feels so amazing that uh, sometimes i feel like chat gpt is gonna pass the turing test but obviously it's not sometimes it also feels very dumb uh now the thing with chat gpt is that you can actually talk with it uh Currently, not by your voice, but using uh, you know the keyboard, and you can type uh, some queries, and it can actually bring you some amazing stories. You can ask it to write for you, and uh, even some code snippets. And uh, so, what I want to see in the future is taking something like ChatGPT and connecting it with hooking it with something like Siri or maybe even other conversational AIs and personal assistants, and actually bringing them to VR and being able to actually telling it, hey Siri, generate a 3D environment for me, something trippy with a, in a park or something like this. But in the future, I would like to see uh, capabilities to telling Siri or ChatGPT, hey Siri, create some environment, some realistic environment for me of New York or even England, uh, 1920s. And to actually being able to visit there, like it's a real environment, and hopefully in the future it will be based on Unreal Engine 5 or Unreal Engine 6, and probably by then technology will be even more realistic, because if you have seen Unreal Engine 5 capabilities right now, not only for VR, but also for gaming industry, 
uh, the physics and the graphics feels almost uh, realistic and taking this kind of experiences and feeling them in VR in the future or hopefully in the near future could be very amazing because when it when the AI will create this kind of world for you I don't know on what kind of hardware it will be rendered because you will obviously need quite a powerful computer or cloud services to stream this kind of experience to you but eventually the end experience the end user experience I would like to see is something very realistic filled with uh, realistic NPCs that you can actually go and uh, approach um, and to talk with and the, the AI will be far advanced in order to allow these NPCs to actually comment and talk with you back so that could be very amazing again the real potential of this kind of experiences will be not in gaming but in VR immersive worlds I'm not I'm, not, I'm trying to not to say metaverse because metaverse became kind of a buzzword but take this kind of experience and feel it yourself in VR you cannot stay cynical because eventually you want to see this evolve and I guess that with the power of AI machine learning algorithms like stable diffusion DALI and uh, other amazing projects that we are seeing right now in front of our eyes and obviously chatbots intelligent chatbots like ChatGPT and the new advanced technologies maybe it's it's not far away but uh it will take time to actually achieve this kind of experiences of telling AI to actually generate any kind of world for you in 3D, real 3D, immersive VR experience. So this is something that I would like to see. This will be uh, the ultimate fantasy land for people, kind of like Westworld, but <laughs> in VR. And, you know, it will be even more fascinating to visit this kind of experiences and experience them even far more than GTA 6 or whatever they are working on, uh, working on right now thinking about uh, you know even VR plugins or VR modes eventually taking Unreal 5 even now and creating some VR experiences is quite a realistic enough but hopefully someday it will be even more dynamic as asking AI to create this kind of experiences for you on demand you know by your mood or you know if you like you need an inspiration or something or maybe you are want to focus on your work or studies and stuff like this this could be the ultimate uh, escapism for human humans to actually get lost in VR for specific uh, uh, interactions and maybe you know get focused on work for example while this amazing stable diffusion environment is constantly changing in changing around me so this is only one use case that I can think of right now you know on the fly because I'm just experiencing this myself and you can see now we are in an, some kind of uh, urban environment, although the previous one in, with the nature was even more uh, nice, in my opinion. But eventually you can see that uh, the architecture of the buildings is changing from something classic, Europe style, to something more, I don't know, uh, futuristic, I guess. So I would like to have a chatbot now and tell it, hey Siri, change this classy old Europe uh, environment to maybe New York inspired environment with uh, sky skyscrapers and stuff like this and it will go and do that for me uh, actually there is a <laughs> coincidence that the, the stable diffusion is doing it right now but uh, it's not because I've said so but hopefully someday we will be able to actually tell it to do it in context of, uh, of what we've said and uh, asked uh, the AI to do Amazing. So see you guys in the next video.